Hello there, welcome back to Mumble Butts. Hey guys, it's us. We're back with another episode of Hey Hey Oto Hatoful Hatoful Boyfriend Hatoful Boyfriend. We're back with Hatoful Boyfriend. Ew, boyfriends. Yeah. I don't have a boyfriend. I swear. <laughs> she does. They're gross. Yeah. It, it, yeah. They're constantly making out. It's so gross. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's like every time I turn around, there you are, sucking each other's faces. It's so <laughs> gross. Don't you see me do that with my significant others? Yeah, it's because you're like never with them. Oh yeah, I've been picking on her current kind of significant other lately. It's pretty funny. <laughs> we've only been like kinda like we've haven't even been on a third date and she's picking on us. Gemma is touching my hair and I am not okay with this. You have like a curly thing there. It's been bothering me for hours. <laughs> She's bothered by my curl. Anyway, we're in the same class. That's all. It's just like one so, curl. Your hair is like dead straight. You just got this curl right here. I'm going to ignore that. So <laughs> what's happened in the last episode is that we've been meeting all of these birds because we go to an all bird school and we're the only human. We just discovered some goosey gossip about this guy. Goosey gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Ton totally. Vietnamese. <laughs> goosey is a goose is a bird. Did you not get my wonderful pun? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so we've been playing this game and we've just discovered some goosey goss. I said it again and I will say it forever Barbara. while we're playing this game. About this guy and the new student who appears to be his brother and he's asking us if we're friends. We're in the same class, that's all. Yeah, friendship at school. I've never Blah. I'd never have thought that stuck up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocat wannabe? Barely. Aristocrat. Not Aristocat. I love that movie. Leave me alone. He is an Aristocat. Is he now? <laughs> the genuine <laughs> article in the flesh. He is? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> He's a bit of a pain, so good luck. Mon, Mon ami. Adieu. Adieu. Mon ami. Adieu. Yes, that's how you pronounce the Frenchness. He really is a noble bird. A noble bird. Really, I thought he was a bit of a, uh, a doesn't womanizer. He need, but doesn't okay. he need a top hat? Oh god, can you please add that in all of these just birds with top hats? <laughs> if only I could. I use fucking Windows Movie Maker. Ew. Yeah, I have to. Fucking Premiere hates me. I've never heard anything about that about you, yay though. Probably a twisty business. Ooh. Twisty business. We've got some goss here, guys. Ah, it's Sleepy Guy. Yakuzi. Yakuzaki. Ka you you a K. Bird number two. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for the for today. Stay safe, everyone. What's his voice again? That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Oh, oh, they just said one, not bird. I am disappointed. Ugh. Yeah. So unprofessional. Inside huh? voice. So, where's Ryuta? Ryuta. Just say Ryu. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna call him Ryu. <laughs> this is his name. Someone can. <laughs> he said he was going to the infirmary. <laughs> Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. What's he doing in the infirmary? Being sick. Now that I think about it, Ryu always did have a weak stomach. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him Ryu. That's yep. easy. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. What a good friend we are. We didn't even notice he was missing. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? Um, our friend, the first one. Pigeon bird. Oh my god, look at this. We got happy bird, skull. Email. <laughs> Email. <laughs> Happy bird, happy bird, email, happy bird. Skull. Like, what do they even use the skull one for? Killing. I think it looks a little more like a weird squid. Like a cute squid, like the uh, octopus from uh, Finding Nemo. Oh, it does, but it's missing like five of its limbs. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. 
dot 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 dot. Nobody's here. Oh. I love that pun. My little birdie, my, my little, little birdie. birdie. Ah. <laughs> There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. Intrigue. Wow. A school nurse's office without a doctor. It's just such a rare thing to happen. So unprofessional. My hunter gatherer instincts feel no presence. Yes, because humans have that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but not to the point that she's making it out. Okay. There's no birdie here. Rio. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Oh. Weird. Did he go home already? Most probably. I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Rio, I'm perfectly healthy. <laughs> Just for those at home, Gemma's mom appeared at the window. What are you- Oh, want? it's the super moon tonight! Oh my god, we've done this before. <laughs> okay, do you want me to pause these? No. Okay, we'll be right back, guys. Shit up again. Nothing happened. We weren't gone at all. Definitely not. We weren't just scared out of our skins by Gemma's mom appearing in the window. I'm gonna close my curtain in case she does that again. <laughs> that was pretty terrifying. She knows how many fucking creepy pasta videos that I watched. <laughs> so, apparently the moon is pretty big tonight. We went out there and it looked pretty, uh... Big-ish? Not, not as big as I thought it would. Yeah, I've seen it bigger but, before. So anyway, unlike Rio, we're perfectly <clears throat> healthy. I don't want you guys confusing us for Rio, who's not perfectly healthy. We are. Whoa, they got all kinds of drugs in here. Party! 420, blazer. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to bother pronouncing those. What do these even do? Care to find out? No. Ah! What the fuck? The, 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 the doctor! Is the doctor a ghost? Is that why we're scared? I'm gonna do the voice for this one. I feed you all sorts of things if you want. Oh, I love this music. <laughs> no, thank you. You can nutcracker, man. <laughs> That's meant to be that? I was expecting a fat guy. <laughs> this partridge. It's a partridge in yeah. a pear tree. I don't even know who's with that. Um, so that is Shu, the school doctor. Yeah, I'm just calling him Shu. Fat doctor. Yeah. Seriously, he's creepy looking. What is with that? Look, he's... Ugh. He looks like the kind of doctor that cuts people up unnecessarily. Ugh. He's rather creepy. Yes, he is. And a bad reputation. I wonder why. Everybody. Uh, my little birdie. My little birdie. Everyone knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with Aspergillus disease. He'll bring you down with the Z disease. Or even worse things. Or worse. <laughs> Is he a ninja doctor? What? Yep. There oh, go for it. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? God, that is fucking loud. Can you turn that down? Yeah, sure. Which one is it? It's the middle one. There we go. Um, I heard Rio. <laughs> Rio. Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Hmm, he's already gone. Oh! Why didn't he come find me before going home? I'm so because hot. he's so fucking desperate, he doesn't want to be with you. S sorry to bore- <laughs> Sorry to bother you! I'll be going now! God, I hope he's not one of our options. Ew. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ah, so we're out of school. 
Rio's already gone home. What do I do now? Maybe go home too. <laughs> oh, I never got around to join a club last year. Maybe Nerd. I think like the closest I came to joining a club was doing um the production each year. Uh. And I was part of Amnesty, but that fell apart really quickly. I was like the only person in year ten. <laughs> it was awful. I felt so bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. Options? I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, can do, migration, bird watching. Yawn! Maybe there should be people watching or human watching since they are birds. I think they should call that stalking. Just birds watching birds. Yep, that's pretty much stalking. <laughs> now, as a bird, what you want to do is watch that other bird. <laughs> Totally normal. Wasn't there another one? <clears throat> anyway, I'll start with the track team. Go I on. ran in I ran in middle school and it and it's always fun watching the birds hop around. Funny. 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 Mommy. Funny. 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 <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't peek the mic. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I think the club room is on the ground floor. Oh. So, off to the ground floor, off to the side, I don't care. A white dove is, tantrum, is having a tantrum outside. Oh god, can I do this? Coo, coo! This is no pudding for a man. Oko-san Oka rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. Falsification. Okay, so I've there's a squished... several words from this game. Okay. Hey, that's not very nice of the pudding. Yes. Fuck the pudding. <laughs> Puddings have feelings, you know. No, they don't. Stop being racist to pudding. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm gonna sound like super mega. Oh my god, this is the most wonderful thing ever. <laughs> He's not even a human! He's just a pigeon! This is... Oh, God! He doesn't really look it, but for, supposedly he's a fangtail pigeon, I think? No, he's just a pigeon! Certainly not. Either way, he's hyper. Look at his eyes, man! It's cold, dead eyes of a killer. <laughs> And he's wearing a suit. Cool! Oko-san has suffered a, decep a deception most vile. A wretched betrayal. <gasps> betrayal? <laughs> cool! Instructed that the pudding be provided to new members. Oh no. But this is not pudding. Coo! Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the streets and shot by those he most trusted. Ousted is a word? Yes, it is. Okay. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his foot looks like a normal store-bought pudding. Ugh, disgusting. What's wrong with it? Other than the fact that he's just trodden all over it. Cuckoo! Shut the fuck up! Spare the jest, young lady. Oh no, he used wing attack! It's super effective! Shit! Violence against women! Pigeons say no! <laughs> Coo! They'll rue the day they call us <coughs> Okusan! He'll have them flayed, shot, hung at dawn, he will! Shit. This guy is fucking Shakespeare. He's a fucking wanker. He's wankshire! <laughs> Okusan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell, true pudding. Oh my god, was that just the sound? And he's gone. Was that just the car engine sound? Yep. This is wonderful. <laughs> I love this. And he's gone. This is the dumbest game I've ever played. He's a good runner. But what does pudding have to do with the track team? Everything. Ooh, I think Gemma just got a little intense there. And so ended the Always first intense. day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. 
Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. No. Oh, wait, hang on. This is the super dramatic. Oh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. Or does it? If you want to, you can, but you don't, then you're... But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Wait, do they keep us here overnight? Yes. Ah. That's legal. Cool! Oh, not this asshole again. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! Haven't you just seen that exact expression on so many guys? Yeah. <laughs> oh. On pretty much every guy I meet, to be honest. Because I'm so beautiful. And creepy. Uh, all he needs is a fedora and he's complete. Whoa. That's good. What about you, Shiragani? A foolish question. I already told you. I already hold... <laughs> I already hold a position here. Well done, Gemma. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. That's not how Nerd. that works. That's not how student presidents work. Yes, it does. You can't just join a school and say, I'm student president now. <gasps> oh, God. You know those TV shows where they make this huge deal about who's going to be class president? When I was in school, literally nobody gave a fuck. Like, they'd get two votes for, you know, the two people who were running, and they were both the nerdiest people in school. Both the same person every single year. We just had, I think, like, the one time... I hated that girl, by the way. She was a bitch. The only time that we had school presidents was at Canberra, and that was, um, like, just, like, two guys got up, and then two girls got up, and we had to vote between them, and so it was just, like, head boy, head girl, and, like, vice things. Yeah, it was a bit weird. And they just gave speeches, and then we voted on them. Yeah. That was fun. I think we just had nepotism, ho. Don't we get to vote? Yes, exactly. No. What the hell? Just coming. Just coming to school is enough for me. Nerd. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. Not be a nerd. That should be a question mark. Join the. Nothing. Student cat. Oh. Let's see. Nerd, boring, we... or other nerd. Hmm. <sighs> this is a conundrum. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he squeals, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Boy scout, you're out. Just pick one! We're going to the library, guys. That's everyone, is it? Have fun! No! What did you pick? Library. Boring. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Get high. Attend. <laughs> I can't attend anything. Oh no! Maths, gym, music. Oh, can we go? Music. Music. Cause I'm got music! What else would I click? Why would you want to go to math and why would you want to go to gym? Uh, cause you're a nerd and a jock. What's happening? Nothing's happening. Thank you. I had to double click it. We sang birdie melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together was fun. No. How would that have gone with you having a human voice and them all being birds? Wag tail rag. Okay. Oh wait, I know. We can do this. I'll be your backup and you can sing. <laughs> Go on and kiss the girl. My little buddy, my little buddy. Ah, my little buddy. I used to wonder what boyfriends could be. My little buddy. And to you, I'd say I shed your bed. She's <laughs> lost it, guys. I shed your dick with me. Oh my god! <laughs> I couldn't get it out. It's too funny. Do guys even have ducks? <laughs> ducks do. What? Dude, look up duck sex. It's fucked up. No! No, we gotta. 
spots leveled up. Yay! Excellent. My charisma is up. Does it deserve my anaconda, though? <laughs> bad, Gemma, bad. <laughs> oh, no, I'm on reception duty. I better hurry. Nerd. Quickly, run, Gemma. Boring as usual. The Duh. library doesn't here doesn't seem very popular. Duh. Not enough books. Yes, that's the problem with the library not being popular. Totally. That's what all the cute, cool kids want. It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. Oh, I hope it's Shy Guy. Oh, it's just continuing dots. There's no birdie here! Oh, no. My little birdie, my little birdie. Ah. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna do that every time. Not necessarily. Just 50 I wonder if it would be okay to close early. No! Uh, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly. You're a human! What do you mean by wings? I believe I can fly. Oh no. I got shot by the FBI. All I wanted was a chicken wing. I got shot in the ding a ling. <laughs> wow, that's quite a shot. So, I know when I was like 11. <laughs> you're an idiot. I'm so, hilarious. Planning to jump off the building. The window there is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. Oh who my is god. This? Huh? Was it me who voiced this one? Um, oh yeah, shy guy. Oh fuck, what would my voice sound like? Really shy. Nagaki, when did you. Nagaki, when did you? I've been here all along. What a stalker. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. The doctor. <laughs> You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes, is that a problem? <laughs> um. No, books are nice. You should go outside. Hmm. Well, I quite like books, but I also like outside. Ew. Outside. Do we want to be a dick to him or nice? Uh, I don't know. He seems like a bit of a prick, so you should go outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whisper the dots. He looks angry. I think I just tripped a landmine. Excellent. It's too sunny! Oh no, not the sun! <laughs> He's a vampire! <laughs> a bird pyre! <laughs> huh? Uh? I don't like the sun. He really is a bird pyre! His green hair should have tipped me off. So he took a book off the shelf and disappeared between the stacks. Did I offend him by telling him he should go outside when clearly he let, just wants to sit around and read books? Of course you offended me! <laughs> <laughs> I just need to be here sitting all alone. Where are- what? We live in a cave? Yep. Anyway, this is a good time to stop this episode. So, uh, how did we say that last time? Until next time, have a butterful day. <laughs> Bye.